Alright, so it's Nicholas here, and this video is going to be on how to get 64 gig SD cards from eBay. The reason why I'm buying from eBay is because first they have the eBay protection. So if this card is fake, I will know. I mean, if this card is fake, what I would do is, hold on, let me place my bid real quick. $19. Place bid. Confirm. <laughs> And right now, I'm about to win this car for $15.50. And there it is. I won. Ha, that's fun. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the original listing. That's my phone going off. I like to have both of them going at the same time because with LTE, if my laptop ever freeze like how I'm recording now, I can still buy the car from my phone. So this is the original listing. So as you can see, there's these SD cards, 64 gig micro SD, they're Samsung um, Evo. And these cards are, for example, starting out at around $14.50 on each one of these, except a few of these that are like $13.87, but these, if I'm not mistaken, were further away. Yeah, this one's in Arkansas. So I'd rather pay a dollar or two more to get mine faster. But anyways, the whole point of this video is, on why I buy from eBay SD cards. Well, first, there's eBay protection. With eBay protection, if the card is uh, one of those fake ones where they can spoof the size, I'm able to use the eBay uh, guarantee protection to send my card back, which is right here, eBay money back guarantee. Next is most sellers, if they're, if they're legit, they'll allow you to get 14 days money back, you pay return shipping, but if it's like a fraudulent card, then uh, eBay will charge them and you'll they'll pay for shipping next is I'm able to see the location of the card like right now I'm in Georgia and this location Bonaire Georgia is around two to three hours away from me so I should expect the car probably around right now on Saturday I should have the card by Tuesday meaning I'll be having another video on Wednesday or Thursday showing me using the card mm -hmm. Next is you get eBay bucks. It's only this one was only like 30 cents, but still it adds up later when you want to buy extra stuff like a case for your phone or something. And next you can check out the description and read everything on it. And next thing you know, you bid on the card and you got it. So I think this is pretty cool that I'm able to get a SD card, 64 gigs, under $20. But in my case, this is my this is me buying my second one, and they were both $15.50 each. So I just paid $31 for two 64 gig SD cards. Now, with two 64 gig SD cards, what am I going to do? First, if I want to make money, I can sell them on Craigslist for probably $30 to $40. Someone will buy it. Second, I can use it in my phone. Third, I can use it in the new camera I'm buying. I don't know if any of you all have heard, but the new camera coming out is the Xiaomi. Let me go to it. there we go it's a new GoPro competitor and these cards accept if I'm not mistaken 64 gigs if it doesn't I'll just use it in something else but these cameras are pretty cool and I'm going to actually make a video on this because I just ordered one as well and with these cameras they're basically GoPro um, alternatives but they're under $100 so that's pretty good the quality is less than the GoPro 4 but higher than the GoPro 3 me in my own uh, retrospect, <laughs> I think that's how you say it, use that word, right? I will, I'm not going to pay that much for a GoPro. And if I am, it's going to be at most probably a GoPro 2. So this quality is above a GoPro 3, so I think that's a good buy right here. So my next video will be talking about this camera and use an SD card that I just bought. So thank you. Like and subscribe to this video. Bye. <laughs>